Tokyo, home to some of the most fascinating and utterly fucked up subcultures in the world. We sent reporter Brian Gage to Tokyo neighborhood and hipster enclave Harajuku to check out the newest and maybe most insane of them all. It's called Kishanai, where young Tokyo scenesters refuse to talk with chill American reporters, even if they're really cool guys. You're not gonna believe this. So we're here at the Shinjuki Bar, at the heart of a cutting edge trend that's about staying out all night and not hanging out with American reporters under any circumstances, even if those reporters drank mescaline tea with rhino poachers. Now I've covered some freaky ass parts of Japanese culture before. Face inflation, pillow girlfriends, teeth unstraightening. But this new trend, where people deliberately avoid mad cool American correspondents, is totally messed up in a way that you can only find in Tokyo. And the further I went down this rabbit hole, the less I understood. The whole village had AIDS. It's saw some gnarly stuff in a Bangladeshi women's prison. And the thing is, they make you marry a severed head. Turns out this culture was everywhere. So of course I had to try and infiltrate the secret of Kishinai circles and see it from the inside out myself. So as you can see, I've covered up my tattoos and I put my beanie away for the night. I'm gonna see if the Kishinai inside will accept me as one of their own. It took a while, but my tactics finally paid off. What's up with all these annoying wannabe cool journalists? You know, they think they're so legit, but they're just totally not. Bye. Yeah, are you familiar with the South Sudan War? Because I've still got a bullet that went through the head of a rebel sergeant. I never really found out what happens inside the secret of Kishinai circles. But from what I did see, it won't be a subculture much longer. It's shocking to think about, but it's only a matter of time before cool reporters who do all kinds of killer shit are gonna be avoided everywhere. In South America, Europe, and if we're not careful, even back home. Next time on Edge, should UNICEF watch more pornography? Plus, will space ever get us? <laughs>